Hey guys, today I want to show you how to build a simple and interactive touch button with the Ventus touch button node. The basic setup for this are two cubes that have different scalings and are aligned by the z-axis to the rear so that when you scale them they will be scaled to the front and towards the viewer. And they have also different materials with different colors. So one function of this button will be that when you press it, it will be scaled down by the z-axis, so it just looks like it's pressed in. We will use a damper for this, adjust its values to target 1 is like 1 and target 2 will be like, let's say, 0.65, so you can now bind the scaling z property to the damper and when you change the use target to boolean the button will now be pressed or unpressed. So we want to make the button responding to the user interactions. To do so we will have to add a touch button node and bind the damper's use target to property to the touch press property of our touch button node. So when you now press the button it will even look so. The second response we want to give the user is the highlighting while the mouse hovers the button. So to do so we can for example use a color transformer node that will change, for example, the value of the color. So first let it by O, oh, add a color value node and add the color that you want and bind the in property of your color transformer to the color value. So now you can use the dark gray and change its value. Again, you can add a damper to this bind the value property to the damper and change the target 2 value for example to plus 10 and now you will see as soon as you check the use target 2 boolean the button will get lighter. Do the same for the orange cube as well. So now both cubes are affected by the use target 2 boolean. Again you can use the touch button node and bind this boolean to the touch inside output of the touch button node. So as soon as we hover the mouse over the button it will get highlighted and when we press the mouse button it goes down. And that's about it. Now you have a very simple and interactive button in your scene. You can still use the single tab events or the booleans, the touch press boolean for example for your own use cases and for the scene mechanics and build your own responsive and intuitive user interfaces this way.